Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so once again, everybody's favorite Florida rapper, honey, Kodak Black is back in the news. So what's going down is this. If you guys don't know, T.I. was working on a diss track to Kodak Black. Kodak Black ends up responding with his own track called Expeditiously. He dissed T.I., he dissed Tiny, who had nothing to do with the bullshit, okay? And then he also went after Gilly the Kid. So Gilly the Kid basically responded back to Kodak Black via a podcast. He was not here for none of the fuck shit. Go ahead and check this out. From I come from a lane where you stand what you do. And if, and if you fuck up, then you acknowledge that you fucked up. See, the hardest thing in life to do is to say players fuck up too. Accept responsibility. Niggas hate to accept responsibility. But we're going to hold you accountable for it. R.I.P. to Nipsey, man. To that young Kodak that black, man. Smarten up, man. You disrespecting me on the song. That shit don't mean nothing to me, man. Because the bottom line is I got a 19-year-old son that if I put you and him in the room together, he'll beat the dog shit out you. And that's on everything I love. I'm going to say this, man. He would beat the dog shit out you. I don't want to hear, yeah, he grew up boxing. And if I put you and my youngest son in a room together, mano y mano, he would beat diarrhea shit down your leg. All right, so you guys just heard Gilly the Kid's response to Kodak Black's expeditiously. So, you know, Kodak Black was basically scheduled to do a concert in Boston. So last night I started getting tagged in videos where a bunch of people in Boston were like literally screaming, fuck Kodak Black. Because for some reason, literally as people were lining up to go to the concert, the concert was mysteriously canceled and folks were hot, honey. They were like, fuck Kodak, fuck Kodak. They were in their damn feelings, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so you guys just saw those angry white teens in their damn feelings, upset because they paid their money only to not get a show. And I definitely understand them. If I pay my damn money, you better be on stage rapping, dancing, bat flipping and all that good shit. OK, so I definitely feel bad for the fans who are not able to see Kodak Black perform. So around midnight, everybody was like, you know, where's Kodak Black? What happened to him? Did Gilly the Kid put out a hit on him? Did T.I. get him snatched up? So there were so many rumors swirling around social media. While everybody was trying to figure out what the hell happened to Kodak Black, this is not like him. This is not like him to just not show up to a concert. Well, as of this morning, okay, we have now found Kodak Black. <laughs> so what's going down with Kodak Black is this. He was arrested last night. That's why he was unable to make it to his Boston concert. This is what TMZ is reporting. They're saying rapper Kodak Black misses a show in Boston after being arrested on drug and weapons charges at the U.S.-Canadian border, okay? Like, then they go on to say this. The rapper was arrested on weapons and drug charges at the U.S. border. Law enforcement sources tell TMZ Kodak and three other people were stopped by U.S. Customs agents on Wednesday. We're told Kodak was arrested for criminal possession of a weapon, a second degree felony and a misdemeanor possession of a marijuana charge multiple sources familiar with their arrest tell us kodak was traveling with at least two guns and stopped when entering the u.s from canada the rapper is still in custody and is being held on twenty thousand dollars cash bond so about 20 minutes ago dj academic posted an update and he says that kodak black has been released from custody on 20k cash bond so kodak black is currently free it's late okay kodak Cody, is it Kodak? Is it true you had marijuana and guns in the car last night? Yo, Ben, Ben, stop playing. My son got them racks. What y'all talking about? Yo, Kodak, Kodak, what you gonna do? Yo, Mr. Glee, it's like that. This way, Kodak. Where were you going last night? No comment. Great band right here. My son got them bands. Stop playing. The man's better take the charge for you. <laughs> you too famous. Yes. What? The yes. Crazy. Yes. Yes. But 
Um, you know, this could really risk him because, as we all know, he's on probation. He has charges um, for that whole rape case in South Carolina. So this may really affect him and the fact that he's already a felon. And now he's getting caught with guns and stuff like this. So this makes no sense whatsoever. It's going to be very interesting to see how all of this plays out. So at this point in time, Kodak Black may just want to damn chill, reevaluate his life, and figure out what his next move is going to be. Because him constantly getting in trouble is just not a good look, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Kodak Black, missing the concert in Boston, only for it to be reported today that he was arrested and now he's been released on 20K bond. How do you guys feel about this? Do you guys feel like it's karma because of all the shit he's been involved in? Do you feel like it's a conspiracy? Because that's what DJ Academics was alluding to, that it's some type of conspiracy and that Kodak Black is completely innocent. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.